Hi, it's Chris in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center where it has been a busy day tracking snow. That snow is tapering off. I'm afraid kids, you're likely heading back to school on Thursday. I, my own children have been texting me nonstop with that uh, question and there's not a lot of snow left to fall. We do still have some winter weather advisories and warnings around the region. Uh, the area shaded in purple on your screen has been downgraded from a winter storm warning to a winter weather advisory. Does not include Spokane, but does include Coeur d'Alene. Even so, up to an inch of additional snow overnight around the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene area, two to four in North Idaho. The winter storm warning is in pink and that continues through Thursday evening on the Palouse, one to three inches there, all the way through Friday morning in the central panhandle. That is where our front has stalled out. Uh, we are going to continue to see light precipitation in that area. Here's a look at your forecast radar, six o'clock in the morning. Still some snow uh, around the region but it is going to be fairly light and will be tapering off, not completely. Here's 11 o'clock in the morning and we still see some snow showers around the region. There's at least a slight chance of a few flurries through the evening. It looks like Friday will be dry for the most part. Overnight lows as we wake up Thursday morning. It is gonna be cold, so a lot of the wet roads will be refreezing. If you haven't shoveled, that heavy wet snow is going to be very compact. Uh, we'll be in the 20s around the Spokane area. Uh, it's been slow to cool. We held steady at about 34 degrees for 12 straight hours in Spokane, but should be finally cooling off overnight. And then not much of a warm up for tomorrow. Many locations staying below freezing or right at freezing. And this is gonna be the warmest day for a while. So again, any snow you have by uh, the end of tomorrow is yours to keep. We'll see a little more snow possible through tomorrow morning, then a hit or miss flurry possible during the day. Um, temperatures will remain fairly steady in the upper 20s and lower 30s through the first part of the day before we really start cooling off tomorrow night. That would be Thursday night. Um, thank you so much for watching. Of course, join Mark Peterson on Good Morning Northwest for updates on your forecast. Plus, there will be some school closings, I'm sure, but uh, you Spokane kiddos, I hope you did your homework today. Let's just say that. <laughs> uh, take care.